you're logged on to ct1051 and you're hanging out with myself being but i'm not alone today I, I will never lose god i've never done that before but with me in the studio i've got flourish from big brother niger season nine no lose god house you're welcome to the show thank, thank you, you very much. much all right so is is, is, this, is this a theme where a lot of people rehearse the same answers I, I i think i got this from the last time i had a chat with dami and toya see where mm -hmm. they would say the same thing Really, yeah. I, no. ah, oh. I like it. Now. <laughs> I like it. Honestly, I, I really like you. Welcome. And uh, how do you feel be, being outside again? Uh, this question. Okay, so um, it's quite overwhelming, you know, coming out and then experiencing the real world is different. You know, I kind of expected it, but I didn't know it was going to be this huge, you know. But then again, yeah, we're catching up with the realities of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. I mean, uh, DJ Flo and Ruthie, right? Mm -hmm. And you guys put together the name Flourish. Yeah. Yes, we did. You thought about that before going to the house? Yes, we did. So, who came up with that idea? DJ Flo. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of suspected. Oh, yeah, right. I, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it sounds like you. I don't know. Hey. I think it sounds like you. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, for the both of you in the house, uh, mm. she was always like the calmer one. You were a, li a, li a little bit, you know, more. Let me say, you were more in our faces. Did your flow was always like just calm, just trying to observe and just try to see what's going on. Mm. Yeah, but you know what? Let's get into the chat proper. Let's let's get into it. So mm. there was an interview recently where you said that from the moment you walked into the house, you knew there was a lot of fake love. Yes, I did. Do you still feel that way? I said, I mean, it was a game. So, um, yes, but when I got into the house, I could tell from the vibe and everybody was putting up a facade of being oh, nice, necessarily like, you know, you just met someone, you know, it takes time for you to like get to meet people, get to know them. And then, yeah, you can start complimenting certain things, you know, but getting into the house, everybody was trying to be overly nice. You could tell from the energy though. Hmm. And do you agree, did you fall? Um, I think one of the biggest problems we had this season was, um, or oh, is still, you know, a couple of people just being overly conscious of the mm. cameras and just overly conscious of everything that was happening. So it was almost like, you know, even to what, what you say, even to what you do, you're constantly looking around, making sure the camera is capturing it. I don't know, but I, I think I was um, speaking with someone yesterday and I made a statement and I said, um, I feel like this season was probably filled with maybe past die hard fans of living ninja mm -hmm. i say that to say um i feel like they have watched people have watched the show they like you know sometimes show. you yes you know sometimes you have people on the show that would say oh i've never seen it i've never seen an episode or i've seen an episode but i've not really sat down to watch mm -hmm. but i feel like with this season mm -hmm. every almost a lot of people almost almost everybody in the house almost. you know have really watch like they've been watching it from season to season so it's almost like you know what's gonna happen next you know where the camera is showing next you know, when <laughs> you know what's are happening thinking. you know what Nigerians are thinking hmm. so everyone was overly conscious mm -hmm. of everything so it made it very pretentious and very fake you hmm. know because now and then don't forget <laughs> people outside can see through you so people would know that there's just something that's a bit off so i feel like that's the problem we had with this with this season of ours yeah okay i mean uh well said actually and well put because i think it's something that a lot of people have noticed we watching from afar i think we've also noticed this as well mm -hmm. but before you went into the house did you guys have a plan like a game plan or a strategy or something um no actually because mm -hmm. I mean, we're both opposite of each other. She's calm, I'm hot. So, I mean, we didn't need any more strategies so we don't blow things up, you get. So we went in as our authentic selves. You know, there was no need to like try to pull up an attitude or, but then again, going into a show like BB Nigeria, you know, you have to go in with a plan, which we didn't really know that we should have done that earlier but then again we do not regret anything because we were our authentic selves in the house so. okay and that's and, and that's all that really matters in the end right mm -hmm. i mean it's all about you being yourself well did you feel for a second because i'm coming back to you ruthie in a bit yes mm -hmm. but do you at any point feel like people got into relationships or ships as it's called 
too early in the house. Uh-uh. Ah, people with the also for sheep. <laughs> yeah, the also for sheep was very. In fact, I feel like when you got into the house, the hustle for sheep was was hot. It was something else. Everybody noticed it. It was obvious. It got to a point where it looked like now people were not even go, trying to get to know anybody. It was just like. Are you ready for sheep? <laughs> you cannot ready. <laughs> Onto the next person. Nobody has time to dwell on it, you know. So it, it just it was just too much. It was also almost like it, maybe they felt that was like I said, you know, going into the show being too conscious of everything that was happening. So I feel like some people felt okay, this shipping thing is going to be enough content for me. So going into the house was like okay, before I even get to know people, let me first enter ship, then we can kick it off from there. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it was just of course, like you said, it was just too early on in the game. It was it was it was a lot. Okay. you know that's why that's why i don't know okay i i, I completely get you on that one but it, it is quite interesting because your pair your person ruthie mm-hmm. technically was in the ship mm-hmm. at the time so how did you feel about that um i mean starting off this ship mm. <laughs> <laughs> um starting off even going into the house you know the plan wasn't to get into anything with anybody so it wasn't like go in there and because i know that even some of the conversations both of them were always having even with her she was always very she was always very consistent with saying oh i didn't want to be in any kind of drama any kind of triangle you know so it wasn't like she was trying to do it for the content or trying to do it for drama you know she, so going in there i feel like they first started off as friends you know then gradually you know they came close even she did not think it was going to blossom into that because she didn't even think she was going to get into any type of ship or anything with anybody but along the line you know i can't be you know so and it that happened, happened. yeah <laughs> okay all right then so i mean i know you're like okay now yeah. <laughs> it's about time yeah. now talking about ships right I, I would recall after the friday night no saturday night party right mm-hmm. yes uh you had a very heated chat with mayor frosh and you were very passionate about it like you asked the question even though you didn't necessarily mention Nelly's name, but you asked him if he had feelings for Nelly. What was going through your head at the time? Okay, so, um, uh, <laughs> this question. Okay, so, um, with uh, Mia, when we got talking, yeah, I noticed he was very, like, intentional about trying to be friends with me, you know. But then again, I told him I didn't want drama in the house with all the distance because I noticed he was talking to like two other people. I could see him like close to them, you know, so I didn't want drama. And then that Saturday, you know, he told me before that Saturday, I think it was that fr- um, Saturday morning, we had some conversations earlier where he mentioned, oh, he's not in any type of drama. He's not doing this. He's not doing that. And few minutes, he was like, he wants to go up and get something. And Toyosi came and like, he's lying. No, oh. he knows that there's something that happened, that happened, that happened. I'm like, oh, for real? Cause we just had a conversation and he was like, oh, this is not what it was. So we didn't have time to tell. Cause after that happened, when I had that conversation with Toyo, and then Toyo spilled the tea and Biggie called us for a task. He didn't give us time. He was like, go up and change for your bedu. Like, so we had to, we didn't have time to communicate. So in the club, I noticed like he was trying to, I was avoiding dancing because I had like, why would you lie to me about something and you're doing the opposite? So after that, we had a conversation where I was like, you know what? I don't want to be your second option. I've told you this before. I don't want a committed relationship. If you have somebody, let me know because I also vibe with TJ and I know TJ is married, but we have a certain level of conversation and how we get to talk because I respect boundaries, you guess. So that was the issue between me. I'm like, look, if you like somebody, go for the person, you know, and I will know how to communicate with you, not when I'm close to you and then all that drama kind of thing, you know. And funny enough, I didn't even remember that conversation because I was really drunk. It was <laughs> the next day he told me <laughs> you were very passionate about it like I was high. <laughs> you were basically asking him do you care about me like and he was looking he was just staring but i mean talking about that conversation and let's just move forward just a little bit to the part where it felt like you guys broke up sort of and that night big brother you know provided a game for the housemates to play which he did not and one of the twins i'm talking about handy x you know when he like asked the other person to kiss him mm-hmm. and he came to meet you and you were upset about that why were you upset kiss him no yeah 
I think that was a mix because when they had that kiss thingy between she, it and was a dare, it was like truth or dare. So okay, so the exactly. first, yeah, the f I think it was when he mentioned the dared him to mention three people because I was already asleep, I was high that yes. night, yeah. So Biggie called us to come down, you know, and then first was Han M. Wani daring him to pick up someone and, and show some sex positions. I mean, me and Wani were not in good terms, so why would you, why would I get up and do that? That was first, and then the second one was, and then she made a statement, Ah, if this person is not ready, please pick another person. And then when he tried to pick up um, DJ Flo, and um, she also declined, and he picked up um, um, Onyeka to do all that, you know, and then she dared him again. There was another one because they noticed he was drunk and then she dared him again to mention three people she likes in the house. So I felt disrespected in a way which I still stand by that because mm. you do not mention someone that said I was tasteless because I was with you and then you were saying you like that person. I felt very disrespected in that person. Okay, so I mean, uh, it, it sounded like you were really hurt at the time about when that happened. Uh, yes, I was because how would they ridicule me because they really had nothing to say to me and you know when people are trying to get at you and they don't have anything they will use people that are close to you the closest people to you so why would you tell me i'm tasteless because of this guy and then he turns around to say oh the three girls i like in the house is you nelly of course i was expecting nelly because i know <laughs> nelly has been in the picture but then again handy was like really oh please you know, so. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Now, did you flow at the time? Uh, Ruthie had that outburst, knowing fully well the twins at the time were the custodians. Were you worried? <laughs> oh Lord. Be honest. Were you worried? Um, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I just wanted to see how it was going to play out. Really, I mean, um. There really is i think the only way out of it is either you avoid it or everything just plays out the way you should so i just wanted it to play out the way it would have i mean at the time there was no there was no issue with them so i didn't have a conversation with them because i just wanted to wait till the end and just have a conversation with them after it because really they were I, we didn't have any type of issue even with all of that that was happening because i mean it's okay and normal to have altercations and then it's okay to settle it in, especially being in that kind of that kind of space when you're constantly in each other's face one way or another you find a way to talk but it was just so unfortunate that it played played out the way it did but i can't say if i was worried or not i just was gonna see how it was gonna play out that was it okay so uh i think i think it's time for us to clear the air about that outburst what really happened because they are clear the air. We've been clearing this air since. Uh, I you went see you. Uh, you were clearing no, it. I don't think there's any. What really happened? And uh, I mean, a lot. A lot was said. A lot was said. So what really happened? What made you that upset? I really do not want to talk about this again because I have said a couple of times. Let's say this is the last time. Mm -mm. That's what they said the last time. Like, this is the no. last time. No. But a lot of people would want to know. A lot of, a lot of people already know. They've heard me already. say it like a couple of times. And I'm just going to say one thing. You don't dare someone to come out and face you. And then you want to play the victim. That's all I'm going to say to this. Yeah. Okay. So you feel like they were gorging you, sort of. Did you feel that way? Like it was like them trying to taunt you at some point? That happened over the week. If you watch the show, you could see that yeah. I was constantly poked and I ignored it. Even when the kiss you're talking about happened, I didn't see any need to. I felt like, okay, this is a target and I don't know how many days I'm going to spend here. I just want to have fun. That was in my head. I don't know if you guys listened to that conversation or Big ever played it because it was more like, um, um, mayor trying to apologize i'm like you know what i don't want to hold anything against you i feel like this is a target on me trying to poke me but i'm gonna let it slide let's have fun and then overlook it and then we made up that night you know i'm sure it wasn't what was expected but that saturday night was totally different and i mean stuff was said you know but then again shit happens okay let's keep it rage friendly you know <laughs> so I, I get it and i realized that even when you guys were evicted uh you were very deliberate about not hugging the imbadui twins <laughs> yeah so do you think there was like some sort of um gang up in the house yes. against you guys yeah 
I mean, because I sit and then I think about it, I'm like, to the other housemates, what was our fight about? Why did you guys do that? You know, I constantly like sacrificed most of my time in the kitchen making food for y'all. You know, so what did I really do that you guys had to like fall for that? And in body way twins, it was glaring because I mean, they I don't want to use the word, but then again, I could sense that they were part of the people that voted us out. So my instinct told me, and it doesn't lie okay all right that works that actually works now that you're outside what does the future hold for you guys hmm. a whole lot a whole lot a whole lot so yeah, i mean a lot, a lot. uh let me allow dj i've been talking all the time yeah. <laughs> i know so i mean just like i've been saying and um, going into the process um you know what okay let me know that's what i'm preaching but you no, know no, what no, no, it's okay feel free well let me preach um <laughs> <laughs> let her cook let's go <laughs> so you know one thing with life is you go through different phases you know and big brother happened to be one face we had to go through you know it's still a journey and there's still a lot in front of us we don't even know if there could be another reality show in front in our mm -hmm. future you know it really could be anything so we have gone through this process we're very appreciative of this process mm -hmm. and like we said earlier they call us to come back we'll still go back ah abby yes we'll still do that you know but at the end of the day you know we're out of it now it's all good vibes it's all good energy mm -hmm. we're just trying to focus on like everything we have worked on even if we've been working on even before coming to the house you know for me you know going into the house i was really deliberate with having to push the dj flow brand you know um i feel like the first step in everything the first idea of going to the show wanted to like show the world that okay true friendship still exists you know this is real you know it's happened for 10 years and you know i know sometimes people say oh it's very hard for me to keep friends it's very hard for you know we've been able to do that so we wanted to show people that you know this is possible so that's number one and number two for me will probably be my djing definitely i wanted to put that out there and know that and you know announce the dj flow brand to the world like we're here to stay and we're here for a good time and a long time you know and the other thing that was very consistent with me also would be um my podcast Okay. or you know the platform that i use to speak to women who have been through sexual and gender-based violence oh, you know that's very dear to me also and i wanted to push that and lend my voice to people and let people understand that you know like my favorite quotes would say um i raise up my voice not so i can shout but so that those without a voice can be heard hmm. you know so i do that because i want to tell people that it's okay to share your story it doesn't matter how long it takes we're here and we we'll listen you know and also to inspire other people out there to let them understand that whatever you're going through you don't have to settle in it you can come out of it you know so i'm trying to create that platform and also see how we can have like shelters and places where people can come out of mm -hmm. abusive environment and know that you, you don't have to settle just because you have nowhere else to go you can come in here and we can take you in you know as a family and i'm going to allow her to say the other part because it's something that you know it's very dear to us that's really conscious uh, i love the fact that uh in everything you said there's a whole lot of other people you know yeah. included in it and not just about yourself Definitely. and that is really selfless yeah, we yeah. really appreciate that honestly that that is really beautiful thank you very much and we wish you the best of luck on that one gracias yes, okay so me i i a lot of people saw me in the kitchen you know um i'm a kitchen girl i love to cook i'm a caterer and also an event planner you know and um cooking for me is a way of giving back to the society where i have to feed lots of people i've been able to feed like four thousand people on the streets in prison and the hospital that is where she said i come in because we are doing this together more like an outreach to reach out to people you know like she said we are the voice to the voiceless yeah and then also i'd want to show people culinary service you know putting out there at whatever you are whatever situation you are you can always pick up yourself and do your stuff so yeah catering event planning and also i would want to explore the entertainment industry mm -hmm. i want to see um i could do some hosting and maybe acting tv screen maybe and all of that you know yeah okay seems like you guys have the world right ahead of you and mm -hmm. it's at your fingertips honestly it sure is because because i feel like in the end right uh it comes down to what you want to achieve 
and what you want for yourself Absolutely. but yeah. as a pair right i think we know for certain that you guys would really go far but not to you know over talk about something that has been out there on social media over and over again i know there will probably be a reunion I mean, judging by things that were said, you know, bullets flying everywhere, watch me from home, you know, those kind of things. Do you guys really see yourself settling later after after the show? Oh, no bad energy. I mean, what was said was said. If there's room for communication, why not? And yes, if apologies are supposed to be made, of course, we are mature enough to know that, yes, to err is human and to forgive is divine. You know, no bad energy at all. We want sex, but we're all women, you know. We no, but the to. problem is, with, when they were with Big Brother, even after you guys left, there was still a video of them where they were actually really talking about you really bad. And they were literally shooting bullets. Mm. Like, I mean, the energy from them is... It seems, it, it seems as though there's more to it. And they were very vocal about it. Like, yo, how, does that, how did that make you feel? I haven't seen that video. And... Um, I really, um, I don't pay attention to. So what if I show you the video? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like, like I, like I said earlier, you know, with this Big Brother thing, it's just a face. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, everybody will come out. Yeah. We'll all be out here, mm -hmm. and we're going to all sit at home and watch the next season. It's, it's happened from season to season, so it really doesn't matter. And we've seen how the show has played out over time, so it really mm -hmm. doesn't matter. So I don't even think. So it's not even about saying, okay, you, they said, okay, you're going to watch, watch us from around. home. Mm -hmm. That's fine. At the end of the day, you still go and come you out too. Come out. You know, so I don't even <laughs> think, <laughs> so instead of feeding into all of that, I just say, you know, just let's just focus our energy on more positive things. It's so mm -hmm. much, like it's so much to do. Yeah. Like I said, it's a face, we'll pass this face and then it's going to be on to other things. We don't know where anybody, like, like I even said in the house of coming out, I was like, there's a life outside Big Brother. At the end of the day when we come out of here people are going to branch out there are some people that would branch out to other things and even want to drop the big brother tag and just move on to anything they want to move on yeah. to so at the end of the day we're not going to make our entire existence about this and about toxicity so no we're not yeah. going to say okay they're, they're shooting bullet they were doing this so how does that make me feel <laughs> i don't feel a damn thing uh, i feel yeah. nothing <laughs> i feel nothing, I feel so nothing really i mean for me it's all in the past right now exactly let's look forward to what the future exactly. holds if they come out and then we vibe and someone asked me oh if they come out and they win the money i'll be happy for them come on i mean what was said was said you know and like i said if there's room for apology why not so we move forward that's the goal yeah, yeah. okay i like that I, I love the fact that you guys have taken the high road on this one and we wish you the very very best uh, the future much. for you is obviously you. very bright and yeah. we are definitely watching the space for you too thank you